Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Knight. Now, I want to try and power through the rest of this game. I've made quite a few mistakes. I'm pretty rusty. Uh, <laughs> and I also was learning the mod and all this kind of stuff, so I've been completely turned around. I'm into this mod now. But there is a couple of problems, a major problem here. There's two major problems here. One, I attacked a... This is supposed to be tapped. One, I attacked a, a monastery and then used this guy as a blocker. You can't take units into monastery, uh, burning down monasteries. So that was a complete fail. And also, I calculated Brutal wrong. So Brutal, let's just grab this guy. Let's have a look at him. This is something that I've been doing since, like, I don't know, like, I didn't find out about this rule error until, like, five or six years after I was playing this game. So it's really, I, I keep forgetting it because I played it the wrong for so many years. But basically, Brutal doesn't damage wounds, okay? it What it says, if we look at the rules, it should be up here somewhere, yep. Where is it? Here. If unblocked, it deals twice as much damage as its attack value, okay? So it deals twice as much damage. Now, it's easy to interpret that as wounds. So, for example, this guy does... Three attack, three damage, and from the three damage, you calculate how many wounds. But what the Brutal says is it actually does three attack, which so you can block with a three, but it does six damage if it hits you, and you calculate the wounds from the six damage. And that's a huge difference, is a big difference for a couple of reasons. One, in this particular case, if I have a three armor, it's not making any difference to my wound count. And that's why it's easy to get confused. So if I have three armor, right, and I don't block this attack, and I get hit by both of them, I get two wounds. And if I double the wounds, I end up with four wounds, right? But if I get hit by six damage from each attack, I still end up with four wounds because I get two wounds from each. So... In this particular case, you end up with the same amount of wounds. If you have an attack that has to be rounded up, you actually end up with more wounds than if you just double the wounds. And another thing it does is it changes blocking. So in my error, I use this guy to block the three and absorb it. So I block with this guy because he had four physical resistance to absorb one of the attacks, right? And not even get wounded. But the problem is that he's not doing three damage, he's doing six, and he only has four, which means he would absorb four of it, right? And then there would be another two damage left to hit me for one wound. So what would have happened is he would have got wounded and I would have taken a wound like that, okay? And the other one would have done two wounds, which I must have healed somehow. Oh no, I think I blocked the other one with sideways cards. So that is what would have happened and I shouldn't have even used this guy anyway. So just to recap, what it means is that Brutal doubles the damage, not the wounds. And it's a huge difference and I always, always get it wrong. And like, if you look back to my videos, I always get it wrong. <laughs> so not cool. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to bother too much with trying to fix these things. Now, there was another thing I did over here. I, I, like I didn't discard the correct card or something. I think I was supposed to discard this to the bin rather than, yeah, so I, I oh, that's right. I used, I don't remember what I did. I got, so, I did something where I had to discard a card. I had to throw away a card and I think I threw away the wrong card. So I'm going to throw away this one. I'm pretty sure that fixes it. Okay, so anyway, enough of that. Let's get into it. Where are we? He's just destroyed this monastery. And now, let's have a look at his cards. He has an amazing combat hand, and he hasn't got a single move. That is terrible. Not a single move. And where is he? He is here. He three to get in here. I think that's his best move, is to try and move there. At least then he can kill this thing and kill this thing. Probably best to kill this one. So he needs three move to get in there. We do have the circulate. So if I do this, I can activate 
Looks like there is no, there's only th this move and this move. Each one is only plus one, so I can use it twice so I can get two move. So if I play that, I get two move. And I guess I can play, what have we got here? I can guess I can play this one sideways to get three move. I'll use mana search to roll twice. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna grab the holy roller. Uh, where is it here? I'm just gonna roll twice. Two blacks, that's great. Looks like the holy roller needs fixing. It actually threw out an error. So my mana search didn't do anything. So I'm gonna do three. We do have this thing to get stuff. So I'm actually gonna just stop there for this turn. Bam. What a waste. That's really powerful cards just going to waste because uh <laughs> oh, what is this guy? He was three block, four attack. I'm not going to waste. So I've got three attack here. Yeah, I may as well attack this guy. Let me just go back one. So now I'm here. I'm going to attack this guy. We need three block. So I'm just going to let that hit me. So he does one wound. And then I need to attack back four, four, but I've got one, two, three, four, automatically, I don't even need to play a card. You know, do you have to play a minimum of one card to do an attack? I think you actually do. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just having a look. I, I, think you, I don't think you have to play a minimum of one card. So basically that is one, two, three, four attack, which means he is killed. And let's end that turn, you blango. Oh, what's this? After combat this turn, for each enemy you defeat, you may discard a wound to a maximum of four. Wow, that is a powerful token. Okay, rewards claimed. It is now Wolfhawk's turn. Now, Wolfhawk has a pretty powerful hand as well. But un unlike y Yig, he's actually got some movement. Okay, so what have we got here? Let me see, can we kill this guy? Well, anyway, we need four to get in. We can create four pretty easily. We just go four, like so. So four gets him in. Now, can he kill that dragon? Let's have a quick look. We have to block eight and attack back for 16. We've got block seven. We don't have any other attack here. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep this thing here. I'm gonna play this card and get a blue mana token. Gain a mana token of any color, and that's going to get us into that location. And I'm just going to end my turn there. Oh, wait. Let's flip that guy over. There we are. Oh, more move. That doesn't help us. We need a massive attack. We need attack. We need attack, baby. Okay, it's now Norwin's turn. So zoom this in a little. This guy wants to get over here. Now he should be able to do this. He has got misform, that's four move. There's no blue mana crystal though. Oh wait, he's got, he can make this for blue mana. Oh, he's also got call to arms. It is night. He can do this thing. So what is going on here? There is this guy here. We can recruit him. Play two influence to activate this unit during any assault or an attack on another player. So this person can attack monsters without paying influence, but you need to pay influence to attack sites. And I have not got 
this uh, skill, unfortunately. Is there an influence skill here? There's this one. So when you level up, you're not allowed to take your previously discarded skills that you didn't choose. So I could uh, pay a black. I can flip this and take a crystal and a mana token, and I can use the crystal in here. And let's replace this guy. Recruit any one unit from the unit offer for free. And I'm gonna take the hero. I wanna keep that influence so I can actually use her if I ever get the chance. Not that I really do. I'm basically gonna be using her for heal. Because what have we got here? We can use them. Oh, this guy's got. This guy's got paralyze. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw out this card as well. I'm gonna keep all these ones. That's gonna be his turn. Uh, yeah. Bamo. It's now the witch's go. So zoom in on her as well. Right, so what's she got? Oh, she's got this uh, dragon. Yeah, Bamo, let's attack him. Let's have a look and see if we can attack him. So he is nine, which gives us two wounds, which is basically nothing. I mean, we have a heal here that heals for four. And then we have to do 14 damage, which is actually quite a lot. This person here can do five damage. Okay, what, how much damage have we got? We've got Shield Bash, we've got Wrath of Horn of Wrath or whatever. So we have actually haven't got a lot of damage in our hand. We've got Attack Block, Attack 5, so that's 3. So that's 7 attack just with our units. So we need to produce another 7 attack. And this thing here only does four. We do have an ice block here. I'm gonna just let the wounds hit us. I think we can do this, right? I think we can do this. Four, five, six. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna attack this dragon. We're gonna let him attack us. He's a pretty wimpy dragon. He just does two wounds. I'm then going to attack for five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to attack for another four. That's 12. And then I'm just going to go 13. Fourteen. Oh, I really don't want to use this. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So to recap, we let him hit us for two, and then we did three, plus five is eight, plus four is 12, and then two sideways wounds to hit for another two. So that's 14 attack, 14 attack to kill him. He's done. I am then going to use my Amazing healing spell to heal one and send the next one to who's the closest unit now is the dwarf. Bam. <laughs> I love that card. It's like one of the best skills in the game. And then I'm going to use restoration. Okay, let me think. Oh, God, the... All the cards shrunk. <laughs> That's a pretty cool. So the mod shrinks the cards if there's too many cards on your table. That's actually kind of funny. Okay, so to recap, he attacked us for nine, hit us for two wounds, which we've then healed using this thing at the end of the combat. We then attacked back for five, six, seven, eight, plus four is 12. 13, 14, and that kills him. 
And then we cast mana after the combat. We did the heal. We also cast mana pool, which allows us to take an additional die. We take the black die, and then I discarded shield bash, which is a action card, obviously. And with the shield bash, I gain a green mana token, which I pay for this. And I'm going to use that to ready four levels worth of units. This guy is four levels, so boom, he is now ready. And that is the end of that turn. <laughs> I'd drawn before. I wish I'd done the heal the next turn. Whatever. Now, I might actually use Athea's tactic next turn. How many cards have we got here? Three cards only. So I'm not going to click that straight away. Okay, it's back to Yig. Now, Yig is in a bit of a situation. It's going to have to go... Oh, let's do a mana search. I'll fix that error next time. So we get a gold and we get a green. So we're going to use the white mana token. This gives us influence six. This is our action for the turn. One heal for each two influence. So that's two, four, six. That's three heal. Two, four, six. You get one heal for each two influence and or refresh a unit by paying two influence. That doesn't matter. He's wounded anyway. So yeah, that is, well, I've healed all that stuff. That's fine. So end that turn. Rewards claimed. Now, finally gets a bit of move. Crystallize, we've got a bit of move. We don't have a lot of gas in this hand. We've got basically five attack. Five, six, seven, eight. We need two attack to kill this dude. Three attack to kill him, and eight block. What have we got here? We've got five, six, seven, eight. That's eight attack, but we've only got seven block then. And this guy has eight attack, but he has vampiric, so that would actually mean that he would take wounds and it would make his armor higher level. So we can't kill this guy. We also can't move into either of these locations because it would aggro him. So he is basically not in a very good position. So instead, we're just going to crystallize. And we're going to take a white Oh, we've already got a white. We'll take a green mana. And I think I'm going to throw out the move. There we are. Chill and the blood. Okay. So it is now the blue elf's turn. So he's going to do a big move now. He still doesn't have a blue mana token though. Uh, he does have, he does have concentration that gives us a blue mana token. So this is move four. The move cost of all terrains, including lakes is two. So that means he can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd like to do 10 or eight. So we have four, five, six, seven move already. Yeah, so basically I'm going to go, I'm going to tap one of these units and get two move. So this is now only producing two. So that is four, five, six, seven, eight move. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think we'll just stop there. How many cards have we got? Six. We're now drawing up to seven. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So if I do this card here, draw two cards, heal two, draw two guards, gain a green mana crystal eventually already units. So I'm going to power rejuvenation. I don't think I'm going to bother readying this unit, but I am going to draw two cards. So I'll just go one, two into the draw up two. Okay, that's the end of that turn. Bam. Got a bit of action this turn. Now it is back to Athena. So we need three to move in here. We need four, five, six, seven move plus be able to kill a dragon. Well, we can't do that, can we? Oh, we have Mana Bolt actually. Cold Fire Attack 7. That is pretty awesome. Okay, Red Fire, Cold Fire Attack 10. And we can create a red with our wound. So we can actually probably do this, but we don't have any move. So I'm going to go claim my three cards that are in sparing. Oh, you know. Yeah. Let's claim those three cards. Wait, if I do this and I don't get any move, I won't be able to draw any cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. This thing does cold fire attack five if I throw away a card. Oh, I've got two move here. How much is it to get in there? Okay, so that's my only hope. So I'm going to add another card into sparing power. And then I'm just going to spend one card sideways to get three move. And that is going to move me into here. Let's end that turn. Now we're back at Yig. This guy can actually declare end of turn already. Oh yeah, so I actually drew all the cards because uh, I'm next to a city, right? So I get plus, plus one uh, hand size from there. So Yig now has quite a lot of junk on him. He's got three attack plus four attack, plus this, plus this. Okay, so he's gonna attack this monster den. Um, I should probably do it next video, save myself the editing time. So this guy's actually in a good position. He can, is there anything over here to buy? He's got ice shield. He could go in and buy the Dalfin, 13. <laughs> you can activate two things on this guy. So he's got two guys to kill. He can actually surge ahead a little bit here. You know what? I should have used meditation to get a better hand for Wolf Hawk last turn. Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is Norway's getting these last two if possible. This guy, uh, he's he had a terrible bunch of turns. He's basically going to attack into there. And she's got the best thing. She's got one, two, three high reward locations. The thing is, he does have a, I think he's got a card that allows him to walk over lakes. So he might be able to go bam, bam. We'll see how it goes. Okay, well, that is the end of that. And I will see you guys next time.